Hi chums, right we're back at the uh, stuff for the children in the hospital um, you know from yesterday we're making stuff for little children that are premature and we want the little things they can grip because they want to get that ref grip reflex sorted out and just help build up a bit of muscle and stuff and I was thinking not much better to build up muscle than make them a set of barbells so we're going to do a quick set of barbells here okay so what I've got here is I've got a, I've got a three inch piece of um, maple between centers I'm holding it in a four jaw chuck and is about two and a half two and three quarter inches extended the end piece will probably measure about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters so um that'll give me room to play about you but because it's nothing it's nothing exact about this but it's real good practice but this is a very simple one there's only two tools needed um a roughing gouge and a parting tool so we'll just do this it'll only take a couple of minutes so we'll do this here i'm not going to do all the sanding bit on you so we'll get this thing wound up right run Look at that, like magic. Right, just gonna. Okay, just before we start here, all I've got this here is for support. Because look, it's not doing anything. I can stop that with just finger touch, you know. All I want is a bit of support here. I don't want to push the point in because when I make this really thin, it'll end up, it'll, it'll bend the bar. So I want to keep the bar straight. So all this is doing is acting as a support, and I'll show you how to define that and let me work out where I'm going. I'm going to just make it a bit tighter just to take that squeal out. Okay, so the first thing we do is we need to round this thing off. Look down. That's near enough there. That'll do okay. Right then we'll just start, I've got that rounded down to about what, half an inch, three quarter of an inch in diameter. A bit less. So I'm just going to put, cut down towards the point of the the, the cone center here. Because I don't want that to be make a hole in the end of the barbell. So I'm just going to take some wood off here. I'm just leaving myself a minimum amount of support. So I know now that the point of that thing is only about halfway in there. So it means when I cut part off here, I'm not going to end up with a hole in the, in the end of the barbell. So right, so what do we do here? We make this fairly thick, right? Okay. There's one done. One barbell done. I'm going to make the handle about that length there. And the other barbell has to be that width. So we'll come to here. What does that look like? That looks near enough. It's a wee bit wide. Right, that's not... And then it's just a very simple matter of... Knock this down with the parting tool. So that's roughly where I want to be. Now, I'm going to try and take it down to final dimension now. And I want it about, about, about somewhere in around there. You just do wee bits at a time, it means that you don't end up getting caught out by making it a bit too thick. You generally do make it a wee bit too thick in places, but you can always scoot back over it. Now, see, I'm getting too thick here. So I'll just bring it down again. Yeah, getting a lot of vibration. The screaming is coming from the vibration because it's getting thin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the support away from the end. But before I do that, right, that's about that's about where I want to be there. I'll finish that off with sandpaper and just make it. Um,
The reason I'm turning this over is because I've got a slight angle. I've got a slight angle on that, so I know that one edge cuts in further than the other. And it's handy for just nipping and in, sneaking into corners. Right, now, first of all, I don't think that looks heavy enough, do you? Right. We're going to make it a bit heavier. We want to get these weed youngsters, get them plenty of muscles, all right? So we'll just make it heavier. That looks pretty heavy now, doesn't it? And that's all there is to it, folks. I'll just show you the last wee bit here, do. I'm just taking this last wee bit out as much as I can while I've got while I've got support. Just take it down as far as I can. Now I've lost my support now. So in this one here now, change not change tools. I need to hold this back a bit and just sneak sneak in here. This, 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 is very, this is very delicate now, you can see it moving. Right, I'm not brave enough to go any further with that because no point, I've got that made now, that's, that's okay. And then what I'll do is I'll sand this up and then I'll take it off and I'll put it, I'll put it onto one of these boys here. Where are we at? Under that little sanding pad and that'll take the end off this part here and then that's it done and I'll, I'll end up with, I'll just turn this off so we don't have to listen to it. I'm burning my fingers here trying to save some time, oh, trying to stop the wheel with my hand on the left here. Right, so what we want is then, we're going to end up with little boys like that there. We those wee boys there, and I, sh I did one of these for a laugh, and my wife said to me, I'll oh, make a few more of those, because those are good crack. And I know if, if I was a dad, and I walked in, or a mum, and I walked in, and my wee son or daughter was lifting one of these, I'd think it was a bit of, quite amusing, you know. So I'm going to make a whole load of these. They're handy done, and uh, very economical to make. Out of one piece of maple that cost me about two or three pounds, a couple, few dollars, but four dollars, I'm making 24 of these. So it's not it's not what you call the most expensive thing I've ever done, you know. So there you are. That's the little dumbbells for the little um, premature babies. I'm not sure where we're at. Okay. So there we are. Right. All the best now. Bye bye.